it's fascinating, though. Wow. Hey, hi. Hiya. Morning. Welcome back to Topo. We've got a really early start. Not really early. We've got an early start this hey, morning. Hey, I woke up at 6 a.m. That is <laughs> early when you're away. Anyway, we woke up early because the rain is kind of chasing us today, so we wanted to get started early. Always. We're everywhere we go. I think we have bad luck. We think we've got real bad luck with the weather. <laughs> yeah, so we just want to get outdoors. There's heaps of stuff that we haven't done. Then we've got walks and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to take the chance while we can, get out early. We're just going to make the most of it now. Okay, so we're doing a walk out to Whakamoinga Point. We have come to the second car park, but if you park at the first car park, the full track is about 3Ks return, and I think it takes about an hour and a half. I'm gonna slip down this hill, oh my gosh. Careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> it's slipperier than it looks, I think. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> it's kind of on Acacia Bay side, and it takes you around to these flat volcanic rocks, apparently. In the summertime, I've seen photos of people jumping off and having a swim down like what looks like a bit of a channel. Sounds looks fun. beautiful. Yeah. And also this walk is super popular in the summer because you can do lots of hiking and swimming and fishing and all sorts of things. So we're going to see a little bit of a different side today. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of different side though, we've never, ever been around oh, this true. side. Have we? No, nope, never. It's the, our first time around here. So, I mean, you have to imagine like there's certain parts of the lake that are more popular with tourists and obviously along the, the water the waterfront, the edge like where we're staying is where a lot of the action is. But you think how many other cool towns and oh, stuff yeah. that must be dotted around. I mean, it's a huge lake, so there's so much. Yeah, the lake is that massive. There's got to be some other awesome spots. So this is one that we heard about and thought, we've got to come out this way, check it out, do something a little bit different. And it is beautiful, and because it's a weekday and it's early... It's so lush and green. It is. It's really green. We haven't seen any other cars, any other people either, so that's a nice start too. Yeah. <laughs> Frozen in your tracks. No, I don't. I'm just sun baking. Oh. Mmm. That looks nice. Look at him! Good morning, Mom and Dad. I've been a very good boy. Uh, <laughs> we miss him, eh? Oh, buddy. With you. <laughs> waiting for like a mountain lion to come attack us. Yeah, it's hey like that, that is that is fascinating though. Careful, yeah. Watch oh. your baby. Oh. How far does it go? Oh, it's hard to tell how much further under there it goes. It's like my survival games I play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I instantly, how does it end? I instantly look and I'm like, yeah you could get a fire in here, get a good night's sleep. Get a fire in <laughs> Found what we were looking for. Wow the lake is high. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! That's awesome! Oh, this would be such a sick summer swimming spot. It would, eh? How close can we get? This would be a nice place to bring some food. Yeah, a little, little picnic. Little date moment. Romantic picnic situation. Yeah. Maybe not today. This is, she's a little bit cold. And are, you, are you talking because of the pending doom, the rain? that might, may or may not be coming in our direction. <laughs> okay, we just gotta lap it up while we can. It's cool, you can see like, you can see the beautiful color there. Just imagine it with some sunshine. <sighs> nice start of the day, boo. Yeah. Let's get going. Okay. driven for about 20 minutes from Whakamawanga Point to a place called The Landing. We're about to go to Cafe Larkas for breakfast. This whole area is new to us and it looks reasonably new. It's 
got a place called the Drop Zone. We can do a ninja course, <laughs> temper bowling. We've got like an entertainment precinct. Yeah, or it's an entertainment precinct. There's also Sugar Mamas, which is a dessert bar. We're going to that later in the week. Mini golf. When next time looks oh like they're, they're not open yet, but I'll beat you there next time. Yeah, maybe. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I, I spoke way too much smack. I'm gonna beat you. These guys, Cafe Lacus, have got a particular coffee that we've heard so much about that we know. As soon as I heard it, I was like, <laughs> I'm having that. Warm. Look at the coffee holes. So like scandy. Yeah. Here. So this specialty is cold brew, nitro, nitro cold, cold brew. brew. Except for they've got a caramel one on the menu. I didn't realize it was going to look like a full dessert, but milk tea. We thought we had we had to try it. I mean, do we even need food after this? Wow, so smooth. So salty. Smooth, salty, not overly sweet, surprisingly, considering yeah. what it looks like. I thought it was going to be sweeter. Oof, imagine having one of these for breakfast every day. So in case you haven't picked up from us walking in and from what everything that's in the background, we're going to go mountain biking, but we're going to do e-bikes e -bikes. so we can cover a huge amount of distance. So we've just been going over the map and we've come up with a plan because there's loads of different there's options. There's loads of things that you can do. So you can do the full loop if you want. For us, we're going to go up here and we're going to check out a geothermal stream, first of all. Then we're going to ride back down and we're going to cut over across this way up here. We're going to get some views down onto the prawn park and the jet boat. Everyone by the prawn park there, that's where the jet boat goes from, which yes. we did which we did last we time. We did that, that last time, that was wild fun. fun. Then we're going to keep going up to here and by 12 o'clock we want to be at the dam because we're going to watch the release of the water. And apparently it makes some extreme rapids, so looking forward to that. Tourist spill? Yeah, it's called a tourist spill because they do it to recreate the rapids that would have been there, something like that. We've got to read the signs. We'll learn more. <laughs> we'll learn more. Sorted? Yep, ready to go. Let's do it. Oh yeah, nice bikes. Oh, I love it. I love it when you get on the e-bikes. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got like four different modes of four speeds. Four different modes. Turbo sounds like a bit of me. <laughs> <laughs> so John is just helping us get set up and get to the right spot so that we can get on our way and then he's actually going to pick us up the other end as well once we watch the dam release which is something because some people don't want to do the full trail or don't have the full time so they come along and pick you up in the van and cruise you back save you the 30 or 40 minute drive back oh the honey hive we went there last time too great honey in there <laughs> yeah you got it <laughs> This oh, must building. be what he was, um, what Johnny was talking about to stop the motorbikes cruising through oh, here. Oh, can you get through? I mean, my hips, my hips. <laughs> Come on, oh, Shakira. I'll just let the balance take me. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. So these bikes are absolute legitness. Holy crap, they go so fast. They do go real quick. So the, um, the electric system as well is Bosch of all brands, which we had no idea they do electric stuff, but the performance ones. So like there's a, a turbo mode and it goes up hills and I swear it's, you it have to do nothing, off. eh? Yeah, it takes off without you even having to do anything. <laughs> These are big eucalyptus trees. Any koalas? Yeah, no koalas here, unfortunately. Uh... <laughs> you got it? <laughs> what the hell? That's where the hooker jet is and the prawn park. And there's a track down here somewhere apparently that will take us off underneath this bridge here. We went for a bit of a cruise out the other side because there is some geothermal activity you can go and see. But um, we're going to some hot pools later on anyway, so we thought we'd just go for a wander out there and, well, a cruise out there, I should say, and make our ways and make sure that we get to the end so that we can catch that, uh, that tourist spill. This bit's cool. So we're gonna cross the bridge here and then we go down underneath and I think we're heading that way, heading left. Oi. This is the view that Johnny was talking about, down onto the, the prawn farm, the prawn park and the geothermal power station. Yeah, jet there, geothermal power station. They were the first to... Nope. Convert. 
I can't remember. I do. <laughs> they were the first people in the whole world to convert wet steam into power. Not to be confused with dry steam because they weren't the first to do that. <laughs> A++ for listening. Thank I was you. like so confident I was going to get there and then I thought, oh, I can't remember the final details. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, so we're not far off now then. We get basically, we're following the track that stays on this side. Just follow the river along. Dam's at the end. Nice! It's almost about 5Ks to go or something. Yep. It's fun though. I it's like real it. real good. These paths are kind of challenging in a way. Eh? They're not like easy peasy, but nah. a bit of fun. Yeah, I mean, the turbo definitely helps with the <laughs> hills. Right on, babe. <laughs> right on, right, I don't think so. Not quite hot enough for a swim yet. Should you feel how cold it is? Yeah, go for it. Let's see. It's actually quite nice. This is Aratiatia Dam. We have come here to watch the release of 65,000 litres of water per second, <laughs> which is just insane. In the winter, they release the dam uh, for 15 minutes at a time, three times a day. And in summer they have to draw four times. So this is the high side and just behind Dane is a bridge that we're gonna walk out to. On one side, I think we'll see the water being released and on the other side, we'll see the rapids that it creates. So we're on the bridge here now. Look at how beautiful the water is though. It is stunning. And the water apparently is gonna flow right up to that. See where it gets dark. Oh, right? up there? Yeah. That's wild. So basically, this is the bridge here. You can see, so there's people over that side, so we're gonna show, we're gonna do a split strategy. I'm gonna go stand over there. Oh, it's pretty controlled, really. That was so much fun. I love that. That was heaps of fun. And I feel like e-bikes make it so much more accessible, easier mm. to get around. It's not, we covered, so what, we covered about 18 kilometers maybe. Yeah, I think and so. I, I'm not even tired at all. There wasn't once that I felt no, exhausted. No, neither, not puffed. And there are cycle trails everywhere. We've 55 been... kilometers worth. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna say that. <laughs> After walking and biking in the early start, we needed some time to catch up on some work and just chill for a little bit. I closed my eyes for like three minutes. Did you I'm really? Not gonna lie. Uh, although, I have to say, we went for a very casual lunch this time. I saw a sign that said something about Guinness. You know how much I love a Guinness. <laughs> it so, doesn't matter where we are. I <laughs> we, love just, we had a really casual pub lunch. Um, bit of a reset, and now it's time for the hot springs. Yeah, do you know what? We've been to the hot springs a few times lately and it's been really hot mm. so it's quite nice to be somewhere a little bit chilly and we're actually going to get the full experience and these ones are unique as well aren't they for a couple of reasons and the main one is because the water from the pools is made up of geothermal and mineral water which comes from these silica terraces which the water flows from like 1.5 k's underground so some of them are super hot they range from like 30 degrees to 40 degrees i think the hottest one is right below the terraces which makes sense and because it is that geothermal mineral vibe the water is supposed to have like healing properties and be really good for your skin and dance sore back and <laughs> all that good stuff i was meaning unique as well in the sense that adults only oh yeah and i think it's 14 years and over so no splashing no no diving danger 